Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're in the FA18C. We're looking at creating and using mark points. We get nine mark points in this aircraft, mark points one to nine. The two methods of creating a mark point, one, we could use the overfly method where we essentially press a button and it will store the current lat long of our aircraft and the elevation of the ground at that point as that mark point or we could do it from a target point so we can create a target point through the HUD or through the TGP or whatever and from that we can create the mark point. Once we have one or more mark points in the system we can do two things we can use them essentially as navigation points as waypoints or we can turn these mark points into target points for weapon deployment this is especially useful for rippling off weapons that's what it's really useful for First of all, we'll look at creating the mark point through the overfly method and then using them for a navigational purpose. We are here, we're going to create mark point one over that base, mark point two over, I don't know, that peninsula, and mark point three somewhere over this port, and then we can go and look at them. To manipulate waypoints, we can use either our HSD or our SA page, either is fine. I prefer the SA page because I have, usually have it up all the time and I find it easier to use. You press that button there to create that mark point one in that case. Unpause. Let's fly over this airfield. That'll do. Press mark point one. We now have mark point one in the system. Let's go and get mark point two. Let's put it here. Mark point two. And finally three at the port. If we can find it, there it is. And mark point three done. Let's just move away from the mark points now and head towards them. So, if we want to visualize these mark points now, we can go to the HSD or the SA page again. We're going to go down on the waypoint selector here, mark point nine, all the way down to mark point one. And you can see we've got navigational information. Out of interest, they are after waypoint number 59. So, with mark point one selected there and sending to the HUD you can see we've got HUD guidance in terms of azimuth and distance to mark point one and let's say we want to go to mark point two we've got the necessary information there you can cycle and see them on the SA page and on the HSD you cannot sequence them like you can a waypoint that's just the one difference we've found so far one thing we found out is that you can't have the sequence mode turned on when creating and manipulating mark points so we're going to have that turned off in our next example, we are going to create four mark points through target points. So if we look on our nose, there are four tanks out there. So we're going to create a mark point on each one of those tanks. We're then going to convert those mark points back into target points for firing. Now that sounds completely pointless, right? But what you'll see is that it allows a much smoother operation for collecting the information, collecting the locations of the tanks, and then a really quick fire method of deploying the weapon so the first stage here we're pretending that we're orbiting slowly around taking our time we can take our time to create these mark points so let's get on with it air to ground master mode master arms already on maverick once maverick twice we go there sa page here uh blur gotta go and find our targets I'll quickly blast through today's controls i'm sure you know them all already but fire the weapon with weapon release scs left up and right to assign the TDC to this screen, the left screen, or the HUD. TDC depress to create a target point or lock on with the Maverick. TDC up, down, left, right to slew our relevant cursor around. Okay, we're gonna assign TDC to this screen with SCS right. We're now gonna find the targets. There they are, all looking lovely. Change that field of view. Zoom in a little to get more accuracy. Move to the base of this vehicle here. TDC depress to create a target point diamond there. Uh, we're now going to create mark point one. We're now going to move the target over to this guy. Check there's a diamond and there is. Should be near enough. And mark two. Next guy. Diamond. Mark three. Next guy. I'm sure it's a diamond. Mark Oh, lovely. Next, we're going to TDC over to this screen here. Assign the TDC left, so SCS left. Check its own cage, it has. And that's it, we're good to go. What we're going to do now next is to unpause and simulate our run in, and we're going to quick fire ripple these four Mavericks. The procedure will be that we select mark point one here, and then we designate, 
Then we TC TDC depress to finalize the Maverick. Fire the Maverick. Then repeat the process. Select mark point two, designate, TDC depress, fire the Maverick in quick succession. Okay, so I'm gonna unpause now. I'm gonna select waypoint, uh, sorry, mark point one, designate, TDC depress, fire, two, designate, depress, fire, three, designate, depress, fire, four, designate, depress, fire, follow them in. Cool thing about this is because we can ripple them so quickly, they'll actually catch each other up through geometry that I don't really understand. And you can actually get kind of almost millisecond, well watch, <laughs> not quite, but pretty cool, right? So that is why it's useful to have these mark points because we can spend as long as we want creating the mark points with no stress and then run in for the final attack and bang, 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 a bit like you do on the A10C. The only way of upping this is that we can create eight mark points for eight JDAMs. Imagine eight JDAMs hitting bam, 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 bam. That would be perfect. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that and see you later.